Ladies and gentlemen, aviators, welcome back to Sim Airport. That's right, we got a couple of absolutely monstrous planes rolling up to the parking gate here. We've got the Lufthansa A380, which is looking ever so glorious, sitting right over there. Right, what do we want to accomplish over the course of today's episode? Well, it's funny that you should mention that. Uh, first of all, these three gates, we need to find some way to make these three gates work. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that yet. I, I need to work it out. We'll, we'll think a little bit about that later. This area over here, this area needs to get uh, needs to get up and running. We need to build an entire second floor, uh, which is probably a fairly good idea to just build like straight up, uh, given that all of the uh, the gates require a second floor. That's going to cost us what 1.8 million. So that's quite a lot of outgoing expenditure right there. Uh, we also need to set up we also need to set up a way to get across to this area over here and the way that we're gonna do that the way that we're gonna do that is we are hopefully going to set up a uh, an underground an underground transfer belt from the main terminal all the way over to the brand new terminal over here uh, there's another couple of things that we want to do uh, we want to get a traveling escalator we want to get a traveling escalator in what's it called traveling travel tra traveling I, okay no I, I just apparently can't find it on this occasion moving walkway it's right there potato come on uh, is it possible to get it outside or does it need to be inside must be minimum length of 10 tiles not usable in that position. Okay, so we need to get it. We need to get it inside. There was a great suggestion that I really, really like the look of uh, in the comments of the last video. Thank you, as ever, to everyone who left a comment. But yeah, getting a, but getting a, a thing like this. Also, do we not have? Is this not connected up? Is this baggage area not connected up? This baggage area is flipping useless and is not connected up. All right, completely, uh, completely passed me by that one. Anyway, I like the idea of having a travelator sort of uh, between the car parking area and the and the main and the main uh, and the main airport terminal I thought that was a pretty a pretty darn good idea uh, I want to build a brand new security area as well I want to build a brand new ticketing area too we want to get all of this set up and we want to get all of this set up because primarily we're gonna have capacity issues if we if we don't so I'm actually gonna start work on a couple of escalator ups we're gonna get two escalator ups over here if that is all right thank you video game and then we're also going to slowly but surely start work on this entire area as well we're gonna we're gonna make this into uh we're gonna make this into a foundation as well in just a little bit so don't even worry about that i feel like maybe in the meantime uh dismantling these gates wouldn't be the worst thing in the world just so that i don't have them sitting there looking irritating uh, the workers are working hard on the second floor foundations for the brand new for the brand new terminal building, which is very very exciting indeed. We need to get all of this set up, and believe you me, I've got a, I've got a nifty I've got a nifty little trick which I hope is gonna is gonna allow us to get more people loaded into each and every one of these gates. So that's good. We're probably gonna need to buy some more land. Almost certainly, we're gonna need to buy some more land. Uh, it requires at least one taxiway connected on both ends. Oh yeah, that's a problem. we go get that connected up there wonderful have we upgraded this runway to the max we absolutely have that is looking great i mean we are making an absolutely obscene amount of money we are making an absolutely obscene amount of money the security area is is like massively over capacity but that's fine this area as well is massively over capacity look at the sheer number of people that we have waiting to go up and waiting to go down yeah, that's really, really not very good at all. Uh, another another uh, recommendation, which I really, really liked in the comments, was the implementation, or proper implementation, of, uh, of garbage bins. I really like that idea, so we're going to do, do some of that. We're going to see if we can try and get some more escalators over here as well. Locked by decorative bush downstairs. Okay, I mean, that's a bit of a problem, to be honest. I, I feel like we might actually be a approaching approaching sort of terminal capacity there's hardly any seating availability and there are a lot of planes and it seems like it seems like there's a lot going on here in terms of being able to transport people around i feel like we're pretty good on that front but in terms of 
in terms of just having enough space for my passengers and having the ability to having the ability to move around in the airport, yeah, pretty pretty close to being at capacity, I think. Also, let's grab some garbage bins. Give me some garbage bins over here. This is an absolute embarrassment. There we go. Stick some garbage bins next to the digital ad displays. Man, we make we may, we must make a lot from the digital ad displays. How much do I how much do I actually get from uh, the digital ads? Profit and loss. Uh, I think I need to see. Yeah, yesterday advertising fees twenty grand. That's it, twenty grand. Speaking of government grants, by the way, we're still waiting for the risky investment grant to be uh, to be paid out. We just need to wait 13 days. And to be honest, we're probably pretty close. Probably pretty close. We also need to try and increase overall airline interest to 70%. And I am absolutely... I'm just totally unsure about how we actually do that. American Airlines do like me. They they do like me a lot. They have They have a very, very high rating of me. I think this is maybe... This is maybe something that we want to do where we try and consolidate all of our... The rating is not... The rating is not bad. We want to try and bump up our rating. Perhaps with American... With American Airlines? Do we negotiate? I don't... I don't think that negotiating is good, to be honest. I, I don't think that it really makes... I don't think that it really makes much of a difference. I I just want I just want a higher rating. I just want a higher rating. That's that's what I that's what I want. And the game says work hard for access to the best airlines or having or face having offers reneged. Um price sensitivity, passenger satisfaction, airport facilities and more. But I mean we do have we do have pretty much every facility, right? Do we perhaps need to fuel people more? Do we need more fuel? Do we need more baggage carts? I don't think we do. I think that we're pretty... I think we're fine. Alright, is the second floor done? The second floor is done. Excellent. Happy with that. Yeah, we've still got this horrific outline here. Now, I believe... Ah, uh, yes. There is a planning outline on the build menu. So, thank you very much for that comment. Making me aware of exactly what the uh, what the issue was with that also these these terminals are not reachable uh, they're not reachable in this current in this current setup so we will only be able to have what these two these two these two and these two now that's not necessarily a problem because what we can do here is we can actually switch mode I believe right we can uh, or maybe we can't switch mode it might not be possible to switch mode. We can switch to a standby. I don't want you to be switched to a standby. Um, I want to dismantle these gates. Dismantle these gates, and then we'll convert these into remote gates, and then we'll just get the buses to drive over there. Maybe if I was a better designer, I would have thought about this before uh, before I built them. But you know what? It's it's completely fine. It's completely, completely, completely fine. Yeah, for now, for now, this terminal is is just gonna be, it's just gonna be what it is. You know, we just gotta we just gotta work through it. You never know. Maybe for terminal three, maybe for terminal three, we'll be able to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, as large as we can make it, please. Thank you. And then this area is gonna be expanded massively and rapidly. It's gonna break the secure zone, I think. But I think that that's a price that I'm perfectly willing to pay. Right. So, then we want to go into here. Uh, yeah. Extra large gate remote. Requires ground floor. So, if I do this. If I do this. If I do this. And then this. And then this. Now, this should be fine. But we'll still need to find we'll still need to find some space for a uh, for a, for a bus stop, which should not be the end of the world. Should definitely be doable. Should definitely be possible. But we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so lots of stuff is ongoing at this moment in time. Lots and lots and lots of stuff is ongoing at this time. Another thing that I wanted to do that would uh, you know be perhaps of interest is to increase the size of our admin area 
So if we increase the size of our admin area by just dragging up uh, a second floor, and maybe even a third floor at some point, that would hopefully, hopefully allow us to get some more conference rooms, perhaps start negotiating with other airlines. That would be, that would be pretty cool, right? I think that would be pretty cool. I think that would be very, very cool. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 1,100 missed departures, failed to reserve gate. Are these all standby gates? These are all standby gates, yeah. So why are we not having any joy with these standby gates? We should, we should have the capacity needed. 98% boarded. I have a funny feeling that we have like a security issue or a ticketing issue here. I'm almost certain that we have a ticketing issue here. Yeah. Maybe it's a security issue, to be honest. I don't actually know. Anyway, uh, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. I want to zone... I want to zone a security area up here. Right? So the security area is basically going to be almost exactly in the same location as everything else. Downstairs. Right? Then we're going to zone a ticketing area over here. Which is going to look exactly like this. Completely, completely fine. There we go. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get baggage delivered to where it needs to be delivered. But, you know, we'll address that. We'll address that in a bit. Okay. Dismantle all of this. Cool. And then we'll tidy this area up a little bit. Sector not accessible. It should be accessible in just a... I thought we were just demolishing walls. I thought we were just demolishing walls, video game. That's fine. Give me an escalator up. Give me a back. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright. Failed to reserve gate. I have a, I'm almost certain that failing to reserve a gate is, is just a problem... Perhaps with the amount of planes that we have coming in on the runway. Temporarily inactive. Because there are quite high crosswinds, presumably. That could very well be the problem. Yeah, fine. Alright, so we just need to find a remote... Uh, a bus, a bus pickup. And that shouldn't be too difficult to do, especially if we have a ground floor... A ground floor terminal. I can't see the outline here. But that's okay. Give me a foundation here, and we'll have, like, an underground bus stop. Which is kind of cool, right? Insufficient funds. Do we really have insufficient funds for this? Surprising. But that's okay. We can make a start. We can make a start with that. Right. When am I getting my money from the government? When is my, when is my government loan coming through? Wait for 13 days? Come on, dude. How have we not waited 13 days yet? I really feel like I'm almost there. I really, really do. Man, how does everyone fit on that single bus? Is that 140 people? Failed to reserve a runway? Inactive maintenance period? Ooh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The maintenance period won't last, uh, won't last too long at all. Okay, so here's the next thing that we want to do. We want to get we want to get the ticketing area sorted. We want to get the security zone sorted. I mean, remote baggage scanners. I think remote baggage scanners are the way forward, to be honest. We're going to need to get some ID checks. And to be honest, if I get ID checks, ID check stand. I don't think that there's like an upgraded ID tech uh, ID check stand. So we'll get that. We'll get that. We'll get a... We'll get some remote... Remote bag scanners. Yeah. Okay, five there. Cancel that project. I'm gonna see if we can try and get five ID check stands to one... Or sorry, five remote bag scanners to one... To one of these. Uh, to one ID check stand. Okay. That in there. Then we get body scanners. Three, 
four, five. That fits perfectly. Excellent. Okay, so let's see if this actually works. This should work. Uh, this can be kept completely independent, to be honest. We just need to throw in some stairs. Stairway up. Insufficient funds. Even if I did have sufficient funds, would it be possible to build the stairs in here? I'm not actually convinced. There we go. It's entirely possible. Who the heck knew? Okay, so get some stairs in here, and we can build a brand new a brand new office area. Let's convert all of this to windows around here so that we can improve the quality of the office space. There we go. Will it make much of a difference? I have no idea. Okay, so how's the how's the underground foundation looking? The underground foundation is looking uncompleted. There we go. Get that expanded get that extended over there. So now we've basically got three floors, three entire floors. We can actually go up to a fourth if we need to, but we don't need to for whatever reason yet. We we have no we have no need for a fourth floor quite yet. Okay. Scheduled departure is in 90 minutes. That looks fine. Refuel chance. In fact, speaking of refuel chance, how are we doing? What's the potential orders between 1 million and 400,000? To be honest, I feel like we should really just bump this up, right? We should bump the price of this up. I'm like almost 90% sure that our fuel trucks are not going to be able to keep up. I guess fuel truck idle. Uh, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just wrong. Yesterday's demand, a million liters requested, a million liters supplied. Okay, then, I guess. Um, yeah, fine. I, I, there's no point no point in trying to fix something that ain't broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what they say. That, that works fine. That works fine for me, to be honest. That works completely, completely, completely fine for me. Right. Uh, we can probably demolish this. I... Yeah, I don't really care about that, to be honest. It doesn't really matter to me anymore. It was there was a there was a time where it did, but now it doesn't. Uh, also, these elevators, ele escalators need to be switch directions, switch directions. Sector cannot be vacated. Fine, we can have one going up and one going down, but almost certainly we don't want we don't want that to be the case. Right. So ID check stand assigned to zero of five candidate baggage scanners. Oh, it's totally. It's five. Wonderful. Assigned to there. Assigned to there. Assigned to there. Assigned to there. I can assign to more than one? Is that is that really what I want to do? Is that maybe what I want to do? I, I feel like maybe that is what I want to do. Uh... Assigned to just all of these. And also we need to assign it to the remote security station as well. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I mean, maybe that'll work. Staff at the bag scanners. Oh yeah, we just need more staff, I think. Sure, hire some more security staff. We're going to need them anyway. At least one security uh, staff at each phase of security. Staff at more than one bag scanner. Yeah, there we go. That works. We can have remote bag scanners. That's completely fine. Now, thing is, am I going to be able to clone this? Am I going to be able to clone this entire setup and just... And just make it work more than once? I actually strongly doubt that. And will it... Will it keep the connections between the areas? I, 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 I also somehow doubt that too. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab some offices. What's the maximum size of an office? Well, the minimum size is four. Four meters, that is. Four meters by four meters. Uh, sure, you know what? We'll, we'll zone out a whole bunch of offices. We could get bigger offices, to be honest. 
Why don't we do that? We'll get some bigger offices. Immediately punished for getting bigger offices. Ditch that entire area. Just keep it to four. Keep it to eight by four, potato. Then you won't have any issues. Okay, I mean that's that's not looking too it's not looking too bad at all. What I'd like to do is I would like to build walls. Yeah. All the way around here. I guess we could get some conference rooms on the third floor. That would maybe make sense. Uh, this is going to be a little bit tight here, but uh, whatever. We'll worry about that in just a second. Right, so we should be able to negotiate with other airlines now. Do we want to negotiate with anyone specifically? I, I don't really know if we do, to be honest. Okay, let me grab a door and a door. Okay, you know what? Apparently, I just absolutely do not care about walking through about walking through other offices in order to get to offices. I feel like this is a bit of a life hack right here, you know? Yeah, so originally I was like, oh, you know, we'll leave this area free as a corridor, but then I was like, nah, it's, we'll just don't even don't even worry about it, my dude. Not even not even slightly problematic if people have to walk through different offices in order to get to where they need to go. Okay, let's take a clone of this. And then we're literally just going to place a whole bunch of desks down in the same orientation because it frankly does not even matter slightly. Uh, requires remote security station in the same zone to be assigned. Ah, yeah. So it doesn't keep the relationships, which is honestly a bit of a pain in the backside, but I guess that's, I guess that's okay. Okay. Right, will this, will this matter? Does this matter what I'm doing? I'm not actually convinced that it does matter. Fine. Right, so how's the security zone looking downstairs? It's still looking messy. It's still looking, like, ridiculously messy. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to demolish, or dismantle, should I say, this wall here. I think that that should allow people to come up to the security zone. There we go. Maybe that'll encourage them to start using the area a little bit more. Okay, ticketing desks. I need to get ticketing desks. The only problem is... I'm just not convinced. I'm just not convinced that I know the best layout for these ticketing desks, to be honest. One, two... Wait, what? You... Okay. Thank you. Computing? Yeah, give me those five right there. One, two, three... Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we have down conveyors. Conveyor down. Conveyor down transition. Locked by nearby fence or wall. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be nasty to try and get this down into the into the hub over here. But that's okay. That's why I left that's why I left plenty of space. That's why I left absolutely plenty of space over here. Uh, we can actually send it down. Oh, no, I don't want to send it down. I want to send it down over here. So give me foundation, and we'll head down to the ground floor. We'll foundationify this entire area. Foundationify this entire area as well, once we have the ability to do that. Also, we'll just get some ticketing kiosks, just like a whole bunch of them. Over here. Because these, uh, these don't need any baggage any baggage connections or any of that nonsense. There we go. Okay. 
And then this area is built. Let me go into foundation. Get that set up. Wonderful. Because if you'll recall, each of the each of the belts can only handle five sources. So I mean it's really, really irritating, but I guess it is what it is. Unless we want to put it into a baggage hub here. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. A baggage hub. A baggage hub is straight up perhaps the best way to go about handling this. You know what? I, I think that that might actually be the best option for us. We just have a baggage hub sort of here behind behind enemy lines. You know what? Let's let's do this. Let's absolutely do this. To be honest, there's probably a slightly better way that I could uh, that I could go about making that area work. For example, by dragging foundation over here and then heading up a floor and then building on this foundation, then we could actually hide the the baggage hub, which would uh, which would probably be a little bit better. Are people bypassing security? No, they seem to be. They seem to be managing. Uh, I think I might have doofed this up a little bit. I feel like I should have the body scanners just next to the security zones. Because they're having to they're having to take a long, long time in order to go around and Yeah, okay. You know what? I've got a I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. Give me ID check stand, right? I, I don't think that these remote scanners are actually all that they're cracked up to be. I mean, give me a bag scanner. Right? Bag scanner. Then give me a body scanner. Uh, that goes in there. And then we're just going to copy and paste this little grouping, to be honest. That might work a smidgen better. We may need to delete a, a couple of other bits and bobs in order to make it all work, but whatever. Okay, baggage hub, baggage hub in here, I think will be will be completely perfect. There we go. That looks great. Go into dismantle, dismantle. Down, transition. There we go. And that goes in here. And then we're going to have another down transition. right in there excellent and so that's going to take us down two floors and then here we just literally need to get ourselves what conveyor conveyor two-way conveyor that's fine two-way conveyor across here and then we need to find some way of linking this up and we will do this with foundation just like so. We'll demolish this wall as well, and that wall as well, when we've got the ability to do so. Go back to conveyor. And then, bada bim. Bada boom. Is this gonna work? Will we have enough space to make this, to make this work? Yeah, we totally will. We totally, totally will. Okay, so this needs to be changed as a consumer point. Wonderful. Go back to conveyor. Okay, so the reason the reason that we're getting all of this stuff sorted before really worrying about our terminal building, our brand new terminal building, that is, is that we are struggling to... We're going to struggle with capacity. We're very, very, very much going to struggle with capacity unless we get all of this area sorted. Okay. Okay, looking good. So I think that we can just straight up get more groupings like this. I mean, this might not be the most efficient way to do it, but... I mean, it certainly looks like it works. All right, we'll see. We'll see about this. We'll see about this. I'm not entirely convinced myself that it'll actually end up working, but hey ho. Get a bunch more security officers. Have I got my grant money yet? I still haven't. I still need to wait for 13 days. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? All right, more security officers. Excellent. Completely fine. All right. How are the janitors doing? Retail workers are looking fine. Janitors are looking fine. 
It's two o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Okay, now, why are people not... Why are people not going upstairs to ticketing? They are going upstairs to ticketing. That's great. That's what we like to see. Everyone looks happy as far as... As far as I can see, and it looks like people are being distributed evenly across the ticketing areas. Which is good. Which is very, very good. Very, very, very good. So we've got the Travelator, which takes people right the way through here. We should maybe get a Travelator that takes people right across to the... To the big gates over, over yonder. But that's not necessarily a problem. I am still worried about the capacity on these escalators here and the capacity on these stairs. Also, the bathrooms look, frankly, inadequate. Yeah, like, deeply, deeply so. Right, head back down to our brand new terminal area. We're about to start work on it. I swear, we're about to start work on it. It is very, very important to me that we get all of the... all of the bits fixed first that we need to. Okay. Is it maybe, like, a runway issue that we have? Like, do we just not have enough runways? Is that the... is that the problem? This is the tile length of 220, so I'm not actually sure that this is, uh... big enough to let big aircraft land on. Is that maybe the problem? It could very well be a bit of the problem. The good news is that people that are collecting their bags... We don't really need to worry about that too much, to be honest. Because people that are collecting their bags can, you know, theoretically anyway, wait forever. Passenger satisfaction may just tank a little bit because we have got no floor tiles. But if people care about floor tiles, then... I don't know. Right, look, we'll let people worry about the floor tiles. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about, uh, about it at the moment. Okay. So that's looking good. Everything is looking fine. That's all, that's all great. Everyone is heading out to the light rail station, which is perfect. I think that our passenger transport capacity might be, might be a little bit low if we bump up our light rail to every 10 minutes. There we go, transport capacity. Yeah, so peak transit demand. I think that this is a little bit better. I think this is a little bit better. We can maybe move a few more people, but let's just let's just keep things let's keep things as as fresh as we possibly can. Right, 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 right. Are we still are we still having failed to reserve gate? Failed to reserve gate. I really don't understand. It's a boarding issue. Presumably, it's a it's a bus issue. Yeah, thirty five minutes delayed. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I think it might be a bus issue. I think. I think we just don't have. We just don't have enough buses. I think that's what it's got to be. At least that's what I think it is. Uh, because I suspect that all of the, all of the issues that we're having are with the, are with the large, are with the large, baggage points large baggage points what are we talking about the large gates that's what i think it is okay so build a couple of additional hangars we have got so much money that it, it it beggars belief it really it really is crazy come on angel investor just give me this opportunity video game give me this opportunity increase overline airline interest to 70 percent i would love to be able to do that what's the issue here sector is isolated and is unreachable ah yeah we don't have a door we don't have a door in here Right, fine. Give me assigned vehicles, add... Yeah, we only have three apron buses. Give me three additional apron buses. Give me three additional fuel trucks. Three additional fuel trucks. Maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference. You never know. Yeah, so with more, with more buses, we should be able to process people more quickly. Not assigned to a baggage depot. Uh, we can assign to a baggage depot. Was that what was holding us back this whole time? 
So we should have two. We should have two standby. We should have two standby gates. And yet, we just don't. We just don't seem to be using them. Either way, it looks like the buses should improve the missed departures stat. We've got 781 missed departures. I'd like to see that not climb any higher, please. That would be. That would be real great. Okay, should we begin negotiations with with some with some airline if we can? What is what is Lufthansa's problem? What do they what do they want? They trust us a lot. We can't negotiate unless we have a rep. You must accept at least eight flights from this airline in order to be able to negotiate. I mean, fair, fair comment. However, I just want to get airline interest up, and I don't know, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. I mean, American Airlines has got a really, really high interest impact that the runway fees and terminal fees has on the airline satisfaction. So that's low. Is that a good thing? Zero percent. I mean, can I just, if I, uh, if I decrease if I decrease this will that make any if I decrease my fees will that make a smidgen of difference Looking for ops will that make will that make any difference to my airline satisfaction it will make like some difference but it's still at zero percent so 62 percent yeah, I know. I know, video game. I know. Okay. Auto hire and fire staff? Yes, please. Bus arrivals? What do bus arrivals mean? I, I have no idea. Also, is there anyone else that we can that we can hire in our in our admin team? Don't think so. Also, staff overlay options? I really do not think that I care about this even slightly, to be honest. Get me out of here. Everyone seems to be working, which is fine. Uh, the one other thing that I should probably think about. Transport and deliveries. Give me retail every two hours. Garbage, hourly. Light rail, fine. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. I mean, it's such a minimum, such a minimal amount of money that we're actually spending anyway. Which is totally fine. Okay, so airline interest is now is now increasing. Commercial fees. The impact that runway fees and terminal fees has on an airline satisfaction. I mean, sure. Assign, assign somebody to you. So how do we just how do we just increase reps one? Give me you. Sure. And a we can't select the oh we can select the rep. We don't have anyone that's unassigned at this moment in time. Air Ca Air Canada. Air France. Air France is on 61%. Commercial fees is a 43% impact. I mean, I don't really understand what the problem is here. Is is part of the issue is part of the issue that I just have too many airlines coming to my coming to my airport? Is that is that the issue? Did I just hide Lufthansa, by the way? I think I just hid Lufthansa. Show Lufthansa. Okay. Here's the thing. I would like... So, number of flights scheduled. Okay. Hide. 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 Hide everyone that I don't have a single flight with. And then let's see if we can try and... Delta. Yeah, hide. And then, so WestJet, for example, I think that we're going to try and terminate our relationship with WestJet. How the heck do I actually do that? Oh, that's a great question. Please tell me that I don't have to find... Please tell me that I don't have to find WestJet on here somewhere. Oh, bloomin' egg. I would just love to just cancel my relationship with WestJet, please.
Oh boy, that's that's not good. That's not good. That is that is not good. Okay. Air Canada. How many flights do we have with Air Canada? Eight with Air Canada. Two with A and A. I mean, if I can find A and A, can I cancel? Can I cancel them? I think that we need to just try and. I think we just need to try and just cut down WestJet. Here we go, WestJet. Excuse me. Can I? Uh, can I not move this? No. Am I? There we go. Yes, I do want to cancel WestJet. Cancel WestJet. Hide WestJet. Okay, Pacific Airlines. Oh, Plumenek. Is there? There's got to be an easier way of doing this. Surely this is. This is just. This is just ridiculous. I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for an interest here. Okay, can we? Can we negotiate here? Functioning rep with the signed office. Okay, assign you. Negotiate. Give me some extra large planes. Give me some extra large planes. Uh, sure. AM planes. Fine. Okay, first class lounges. Current atmosphere is hot. I, I don't really care, to be honest. Will this increase satisfaction? Cafes, stores, conference room. I'll give them offices, though. Give them six offices if they want. I don't know why I have to do this sort of stupid negotiation. Profit share, profit share. Like, why would I entitle you to, to any of my profit share? Like, it's ridiculous. Massive breach penalty. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Okay, I'll give you free runway fees. Free runway fees, but higher terminal fees. How about that? Oh, you don't like that either. Okay, uh, well, you know what? We'll keep things, we'll keep things chill. We'll keep things chill here. Breach penalty. Yeah, I'll put the breach penalty up high. Small aircraft gates, two. Reduce the number of offices by a little bit. Flight crew lounges, none. Okay, you know what? I'm going to send that offer. We need to negotiate further on the current deal. They want two flight crew lounges. They want five offices. Honestly, I mean, that's okay. Daily fees of like 2,000. If this just gets my... If this just gets my... Okay, you know what? Crew lounges are non-negotiable. Sure. Let's go for it. Counter, counter there, counter. We need to negotiate further. Okay, so no crew lounges. We don't need to build any more crew lounges. They want a store. They want a cafe. They want slightly higher profit share. Okay, you know what? I, I think that I'll accept that. Can I accept that? Can I accept that? Is that is that a done deal? They've accepted our offer. You bargained hard and came out with a better deal. Did I, though? Did I really? Okay, so... Oh, no. I did actually say that I would assign them flight crew lounges. That's a bit of a pain in the backside. Okay, so facility quality. We need to improve our facility quality, or at least give them the facilities that they want. So we need to give them a store. Assigned to Air Canada. Assigned already maxed already maxed. We need to give them a, a gate. Uh, assign to... Assign airline exclusivity. There we go. Maybe that'll cause issues elsewhere. It probably does. Uh, actually, you know what? Just assign... Assign airline exclusivity. Unassign. Assign this gate here. Because this is like already mostly Air Canada anyway. Excuse me? Requires morning arrival time slot. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. I don't really want to cancel an American Airlines flight. Here, cancel a Lufthansa flight. Cancel Lufthansa flight. American Airlines instead. You go in there. You go in there. JetBlue. Can't stick that in there. You know what? Cancel the JetBlue. Cancel JetBlue. Cancel JetBlue. Cancel Pacific. 
Uh, and then anything else that is that is Canadian, we will stick onto this area right over here. Okay. Air Canada still has missing facilities. Missing some facilities on Air Canada. I don't get this whole negotiation thing. Uh, I'm not... I'm not loving it, to be honest. Cafes. Cafes needs to be... Assigned to... Wait, does it need to be a cafe? What's the... Oh, yeah, okay. Do we just assign the whole cafe over? Sure, I guess. Does that improve airline interest? I, I really don't think that it does. I have absolutely zero idea how we can improve our airline interest further, to be honest. Like, it seems like a big, 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 big pain in the backside. And the fact that I can't modulate price that much, like, I can do... I can do... What is it? No, not even gate control. Although, is gate control working? No, no, it doesn't matter. Um, the, the problem is... The problem is that I can't... Is that I can't really adjust my prices. Even if I make everything free, airlines still don't, don't care about it. There we go. Save new prices. I have to wait 12 hours before changing that. I might hit like 63%, 64% airline interest, but it just seems a little bit ridiculous that this is not able to notch 70%. Excuse me, this is invalid. Requires morning. Oh, it requires an extra large gate. Uh, okay, Lufthansa, American Airlines. I'm getting kicked out of here. Sorry, bud. There we go. Alright, we'll see if that makes any difference. Air Canada literally has got a garbage opinion of me, 57%. It's the two missing crew lounges that are causing most of the problem. I mean, is there any way that we can instead, instead of having a first class lounge in here, just split it into crew lounges? Flight crew lounge. Yeah. Flight crew lounge. What's the issue? Five by five? Okay. All right. We might, we might have an issue with this. This seems a little bit illegal, like an illegal maneuver. Five by five. Oh, they're going to touch and become one. Can't have that. There we go. Okay. Requires enclosed space. Fine. You know what? If that's what you want, video game, then that's what you get. Give me a sliding glass door. Dismantle that glass door there. And then we'll just get a couple of normal doors. Okay. I mean, look. The thing is, is that even... Even with, like, zero, zero cash, zero cash being generated from airline or terminal fees, we're still making an obscene amount of money. Don't understand why that's the case. Fine. All right. Assigned to Air Canada. Assigned to Air Canada. See, I don't think that I had a good deal. I don't think that I had a good deal with Air Canada. They still only... They still only think 57% of me. So if we build more conference rooms, is that is that how we end up having better communication? Uh, commercial fees is a 45% impact. But facility quality, yeah, our facility quality is, is hot garbage, actually. Like, it's really, really bad. Although, could be worse, to be honest. Could be worse. Let me stick some bushes in here. Decorative bushes. Yeah, it's probably overkill, but you never know. It might just improve the environment a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Or maybe not. Maybe it'll end up hampering our efforts. Either way, the fact that we haven't notched 70% interest is, is, is just a little bit crazy. Investments. We finally did it. We finally flippin' did it. Okay. Angel investor, pay off any loans, wait for 10 days. I, I have no idea how we can... I 
have no idea how we can do this. I have no idea how we just get this over the top. Like, are you kidding me? I have such a absolutely mahusive airport, and yet almost everyone is still saying that I have a terrible airport. Okay, Air Canada. The facility qualities, uh, facility quality should be should be much much higher. Can we assign a conference room to? We can't assign a conference room to uh, to Air Canada. Also, the environment of this conference room is is garbage. There we go. We'll get some bushes in here too, since decorative bushes are apparently the only way to improve the quality of the environment. Still 62% airline interest. No toolboxes available. Ah, we need more toolboxes. There we go. Okay, some more toolboxes to help with maintenance. We could do maintenance scheduling, but I really don't think that it's worth it, to be honest. All right, this conference room is now no longer absolutely abysmal. Does that improve our airline opinion? No. Facility quality. I feel like facility quality is dragging us down here, to be honest. Reflects how happy the airline is. Yeah, no, they're not a, they're not a big fan of that, to be honest. But I think airline interest, the problem is that airline interest is like a... Is a... Uh, is across the board, right? It's across the board what airlines think of me. I mean, a couple of these have high opinions of me, but not not many of them, to be honest. ANA, you you don't have much of an opinion of me. I mean, if I get rid of ANA from my schedule, will that make any difference? Uh, ANA there, ANA there. We just hide. Okay, I don't know why that keeps on popping up, but that's fine. Uh, airline interest did manage to increase just by a little bit, which is which is real nice. Lufthansa, you still somehow only have a forty-five percent trust rating of me. I could just like eliminate Lufthansa from the contract, to be honest, which would be a shame because. They've got nice big planes, and it's, it's a nice big name. But, you know what? If this is if this is what's going to make me increase my airline interest, then that is what makes me increase my airline interest. Okay, so who else is low interest in me? So all of these planes, all of these uh, airlines, should be the ones that fly with me at the moment. Air France. Air France potentially has to go. I don't want that. I, I, I actually like Air France here. Who's this? Atlantic International? Atlantic International, you can definitely go. You've only got two... Uh, Rex... Rexica, Rexicana. You have a 66% opinion of me. Therefore, you're, you're going to be kept. Atlantic. Yeah, I need Atlantic. Gosh, it's so difficult to look through here and find what I'm looking for. All right, Atlantic. You're going to get hidden. Excellent. Okay. Maybe that notch is a slightly higher score. American Airlines still only has like a 69% relationship with me, which is kind of bonkers when you consider it. Air Canada's on 61, for goodness sake. So it's about, I guess, just more acutely paying attention to who we have flying out of our airport because that, I think makes the constituent parts of airline interest. Aerostar, service reliability. So you rate me on service reliability and also passenger satisfaction. And fuel satisfaction as well. So I think maybe if we were just to get a... Yeah, Lufthansa rep, for example, sent over there, that would sort you right out. In fact, you know what? Maybe we send a second rep. Give me a Delta Airlines rep. Okay, look at that. 71%. Just like so. And Aerostar's opinion of me is going to be increasing dramatically. So anyone that's got low communication, we select the rep and we send them over there. Air France, sure. That's looking good. I mean, what I'm realizing is that the number of airlines that I have at this moment in time 
flying out of my airport is too many. Is too many. Union Air. Right, we're gonna get rid of Union Air, I think. We just have to get used to, to running a much more trimmed down service. Okay. What about Starflight? Starflight's got a good opinion of me. Who's got a bad opinion of me? Air France? Oh, yeah. I just unassigned my rep from there. You know what? Air France, you can go as well. Again, disappointing that we're not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to do something more with these with these airlines. But, you know, at the at the same time, we need to, we need to think about increasing our airline interest. Because this is just ridiculous, the fact that it's taken us this long to do. Where's the last Air France flight? Here's the issue, is that I can't see. I should be able to like click on a click on an airline and see which flights they have in my in my schedule. American Airlines. Air Canada, Air Canada. I don't see I don't see Air France uh, I don't see Air France anywhere. It must be in the evening sometime, right? There it is. Okay. So Air France is now out. And that takes us up to 66% airline interest. That's actually not bad. So, here's the thing. If I can actually improve my facility quality, if I can improve my facility quality for American Airlines, they've got a couple of first-class lounges, a couple of flight lounges. Yeah, if I can... What's the facility quality for these two? 62%. 43% here. If I... If I get some decorative bushes. In there. And I get some windows in here. That might actually make a... Bit of a difference. Either way, at least we've... At least we've unlocked the, the sort of matrix now. We can see through it. Air Canada is such a garbage, garbage airline. Honestly. Okay, they've got one cafe, one store. What's the quality of the store that I've given them? It's bad. It, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, you know what? Let's improve it. Improve it. Give me... Give me some bushes. Again, if in doubt, decorative bushes. I actually think that this is quite a nice one. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice store to have, to be honest. But there you go. 67% airline interest. Is this the only mission that requires 67% airline interest? I think that it is. I think that it literally is. So I think that we can do it. I think that we can do it, and I think we can do it soon as well. Okay, so Air Canada is up to 63%. Still dragging, still dragging everything down, though. Jet Blue? I think we ditched Jet Blue, to be honest. Jet Blue has got a, a large number of... A large number of planes that are currently flying from here, though, which is going to make, which is going to make canceling a little bit of a pain in the backside. But to be honest, needs to be done. I think a much more trimmed down service going forward is what we're going to have, which is a shame because for the longest time, the longest time this this was working, right? Got four more flights. Uh, yeah, cuts, cut, cut, and cut. Yeah, so I mean it was working, right? We had a we had a decent we had a really 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 decent airport. Everything looked good. It worked well. Spark jet, you can get uh, you can get cut too, I think. Go. Yeah, so it's a shame. It's a shame that we're going to have to have such a a pinned such a such a toned down service. Starjet. No, Starjet is different from Sparkjet. Spark, 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 spark jet. There we go. It's up there. It was hidden. Okay, spark jet, and we hide you. Rexicana. To be honest, we should probably just get rid of Rexicana as well. Even though they, they like me. They just don't like me enough. 
when there are fewer airlines, I'm assuming that it's just going to be... There we go. Get rid of you. I'm assuming that it's just going to be easier. Lernyville Air. Again, a real shame. A real shame that we need to get rid of Lernyville Air from, from our airport. But if it needs to be done, it needs to be done, right? There we go. Lernyville Air. You've got one flight still kicking. There we go. And hide that. 69% airline interest. Oh my goodness, it's so close. Okay, facility quality for Air Canada. If we can bump that up just a little bit, then that would be totally fine. Small aircraft gates, stores, cafe. Okay, what do they think of the store now? What's the store looking like? Environment is like 49%. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What's the what's the cafe? Rate my rate my cafe. Ah. All we need to do is 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 some windows. Some windows over here, and that'll and that'll sort things right out. There we go. Okay, we're still absolutely in the money. Airline interest. Passenger satisfaction has hit 90%, which is kind of obscene. We've not had a single missed departure today, which is really, really good. So if Air Canada's opinion of us improves ever so marginally, that could very well give us enough of a, enough of a waiting to get uh, to get above where we need to be. Select rep. Who do we have? Um, Aerostart. Do we have anyone with Aerostart at the moment? Do we have any flights? Yeah, we do. We have, we do. Juno Connect. Juno Connect. You can just get demolished. I think. Uh, where's the other Juno Connect? It's so irritating that I have to go through this. I just love to, you know, perhaps have like a button that says, hey, assign all of this or assign all of that. That would be, that would make things much, much easier. Okay, Air Canada, can we get another rep on you, please? Starflight? No, but communication is already like pretty much maxed out there, so there's no point in increasing that much further a Ford air a Ford air is a is an easy fix if we can get this if we can get this sorted uh, Aerostar Starflight give me Starflight and somebody from Aerostar this will get us there this will get us there I think there we go okay come on come on come on okay airline interest is almost certainly going to crest 70% here I think. Come on. Let's do it. Air Canada, we just need to increase the facility quality just a little bit more. Uh, okay, what can I do? What can I do? Small aircraft gates. No. We can't improve the small aircraft gate. The flight crew lounge. The Air Canada flight crew lounges, honestly, already are pretty massive. Here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. Right. Give me some walls. I think we're just going to straight up make this bigger. We just make both of the lounges bigger. Yep. Give me a door. Put that in there. Flight crew lounge. There we go. And then we dismantle these walls. And we dismantle those walls. And then we merge. We merge together. Look at that. 70% airline interest. We did it. We did it. We absolutely did it. I am unbelievably happy with that. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so that, that score should uh, should be good. Yeah. That's, that's not looking too bad at all. Okay, flight crew lounge. Air Canada flight crew lounge. Look at that. Okay, 70% airline interest is, is just incredible. That is really, really, really good. Uh, we have a flight issue. Oh, it was just because Air, Air Canada didn't have their uh, didn't have their other thing in place. Okay, serve ten planes with a functioning fuel system. Negotiate and assign ten offices to airlines. Honestly, I think we've done both of those things. And if not, it's super easy to do. It's super easy to do. We just need to sort of seal the deal with with one other airline. 70% airline interest. Man, that was the most difficult that was the most difficult grant to accomplish. I don't know why it was so difficult. It really shouldn't have been, but hey ho, it is what it is. Alright. 
ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. It's been a good one. It's been a really, really good one. We had to cancel a whole bunch of airlines, as you can see, all, all up here. Reneged by airline. Yeah, I know. I reneged on my deal, but that's not my, not my fault. Anyway. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks as ever to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you just to all of the the Patreon supporters. All help make videos like this possible. We haven't even completed our, our terminal building yet, but we're working towards that. Don't you worry. I've got a good plan about how we uh, about how we go and do that. We got a brand new security area. We got a brand new ticketing area. It's gonna be great. Tune in next time for some more Sim Airport. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.